forget chocolate bars, bags of crisps and cans of Coke, this 150-foot vending machine serves up a selection of high-end supercars. It belongs to luxury car dealership Autobahn Motors in Singapore, and lets buyers choose from a selection of Ferraris, Lamborghinis and Bentleys at the push of a button. The used car seller opened the futuristic 15-story showroom in December, where up to 60 different cars can be held at any given time, and moved from any of the slots to the ground floor in just two minutes. It's been built as the world's largest luxury car vending machine, and hosts a range of vehicles, from classic models like the original Mini to the supercars of today made by McLaren and Porsche. In fact, one image of the high-tech showroom displays 26 different Porsche models arranged in the tower, that customers can cherry-pick from the frown floor of the building. Visitors on the lower level, can simply select the in-stock model they want to see on a touch-screen display, and in just two minutes the vehicle retrieval system delivers it to them. Gary Hong, general manager at Autobahn Motors, said, the vending machine format was designed to make efficient use of space in landscare Singapore, as well as help the brand stand out from the competition. We needed to meet our requirement of storing a lot of cars, he told Reuters. At the same time, we wanted to be creative and innovative. The revolutionary take on a car showroom has generated plenty of interest, the dealership said. It's even been approached by developers inquiring about the company's automotive inventory management system to use to improve parking services, Hong confirmed. As impressive as the structure is, it still can't claim to be the first car vending machine in the world. The title goes to U.S. used car dealer, Carvana, which opened an eight-floor building last year. However, the showroom in San Antonio, Texas, can only hold 30 cars, half as many as Autobahn Motors' facility. Unfortunately, for the fiendish of vending machine abusers, the structure is a little too sturdy to shake to force more than one item to drop down, 